3 and 0 versus 0 and 3. Will current form hold? We'll find out as we're off in week 4. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now this time he'll look to throw. Oh, that's into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Brand, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? Tim Taylor now. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. To throw on second down, Whitaker. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's what you would consider a goal for each and every defense because if you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team because you expect your offense to score more than that. That's what you're looking for. Room to prove, of course. But I'd have to say a very solid performance. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Now the pitch goes to Taylor. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. The coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. Looking to throw on second down. Whitaker, he'll dump this off to Taylor complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. So the completion good for 6 yards. 3rd and 7 now. So 7 yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. To throw on 3rd down. Whitaker. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Colts use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Santos with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. For the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The offense. 
defense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Now, the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Well, big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. On first down, right back to Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. He'll look to throw. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 33. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QB is... He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Colts are going to take possession here at their own 33. For a team who came in here on a healthy winning streak, we're seeing some uncharacteristically bad play thus far. And that streak is definitely in jeopardy if this offense keeps giving the ball away and can't mount a few drives of their own. And he's got some space here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That good for 22 and a first down. On the counter, it's Taylor. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Off play action. Whitaker. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Off the play fade. Whitaker. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the bar. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 
40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This running game is so important for them, and they know that, and helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Montez Sweat in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot him. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's got room. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That can undo a lot of good work that a defense has done to that point. You break off one right there, and everything suddenly looks bad for you. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. 
And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you you're don't down. want to. I know, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break yeah. earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Touchdown! Brees Hall, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Antlers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Off play action. Whitaker. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. It's Devin Lloyd with a pick. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, and I saw the pressure coming out, and that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Now, able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Let's go. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Ball again on second down. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. A great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Man, open, it's Cup. He's got it. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Straight ahead is Hall. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Second and six. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Kenny Moore. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. 
Santos now to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner. He's got a man complete. And out across midfield, down to the 45. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. They'll set up to throw. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. There's a reason it's our linebackers are often captains of a defense. They call the signals. They have the opportunity to affect the game in coverage against the run and, of course, on blitzes. Living in the best of both worlds here. Already has an interception. Now he gets to record a sack, too. Going up top for Cup. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing, but credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll look to throw here. Blitz coming, and down he goes. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, it's still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. First and ten, Whitaker. And he's got his man out of the slot, complete. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short, 
No good. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead and they will receive the football. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Again, it's Taylor. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. complete to Brown and he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds two catches in the first half now he's got a third here and it's good for a first operating from the gun Whitaker and this will be swung out wide for Taylor and just three yards on the catch there he couldn't get away and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, it's Taylor. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 107 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Back to Taylor on first down. Oh, he's got some breathing. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Indianapolis. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it. Pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. The partner, you know, as that team gathers, they'll say to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. Cooper Cup with career touchdown number 75. And the Antlers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. 
This time, the extra point up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards from the 34 now. Here's first and ten. the middle here's Taylor and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it well any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage they used great leverage held their spot and stacked him up to throw on second down. Whitaker, and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. And the slot man goes in motion left. Running left, Taylor. Oh, what a move. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They run once more with Taylor. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Powering forward, and he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Man, 206 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, and some nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll run here with Taylor. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. the football and the defense will get their hands on it going the other way and the return will stop them well inside their own 20 at the 15 yard line pardon me you know how often we hear about the red zone right from the 20 yard line going in that scoring zone getting points on the board a lot of teams call from the 10 yard line in the green zone that's your money zone he fumbles the ball inside the money zone you have one job take care of the ball that didn't happen 
They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. He'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Bobby O'Karake. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Well, this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they played this entire game? Not only did they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes? Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The offense now at the line ready for their next drive. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now back to throw. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Avante Maddox. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. They go to the ground again with Taylor. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, here's Taylor. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. 
Man, 220 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now we give to Taylor. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. So they tried runs on first and goal and second and goal. Got stonewalled. Now from here, they've got to throw, right? I would think so. And I would think you also maybe want to come up with something different in terms of formation. Maybe spread things out a little bit. Even though you're down near the goal line where things are tight, get it spread out a little bit and try and find some room to operate. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this is pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but... The self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Hurry, 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 hurry. He'll drop to throw. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Montez Sweat able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Fielded at about the 28. That's a 49-yard punt. Eight, though, on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And it's starting to look like that three-game losing streak is going to be a thing of the past here. Coming up first and 10 in the fourth quarter. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. To throw on third down, Whitaker. 
That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And my goodness, another interception. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. Hey, partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Colts, it took a few weeks, but they finally get their first one of the season here in week four. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. Meanwhile, for the home team here, the defeat is their first of the year as they drop to 3-1. and one. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Cincinnati Bengals.